Hey everybody, this is Ben with devslopes.com. In this video, we're going to get a little more familiar with an amazing tool called Mapbox. Mapbox is one of the most powerful, advanced, and easy to use location data tools on the planet. And I'm really excited to show you how it works. Mapbox provides us with real world data for iOS, Android, and web applications. More importantly, though, they've got an amazing SDK for Unity. It's absolutely stellar. For those of you who aren't familiar with what they do, let's take a quick tour of the website. This is their main page, mapbox.com. And they've got a really pretty demo of some of the things people have done with their maps. But let's go take a look at the Maps Unity SDK documentation. In a nutshell, Mapbox is a location data service. They provide information about maps, traffic, navigation, and a whole lot more. They also make it super easy to integrate all of this info into a mobile app and seamlessly integrate it into a game. Here are some of the things that they can do for us when we pair their product with Unity. First off, they can provide us with a cloudless satellite base map. What that means is we've got a full picture of the whole world all the time without any interruption from clouds, which is a huge feat. Another key feature is that they give us a vector a vector map of the world. And what does that mean for us as game developers? It means we can scale the entire world, buildings, terrains, everything, as big or as small as we need to. Think about all the applications for that. It's, it's a great thing for us. Another feature is they've got this thing they call a global digital elevation model. What does that mean? Well, it means that we have terrain. It's actual terrain scaled to its actual elevation. Want a mountain? Boom, here's a mountain. And it's gonna be the proper height in relation to everything else, to us in a flash, which is another super powerful tool. Another key selling point of the Mapbox SDK is its ability to handle custom data. That means that we can create our own worlds and still leverage the power of Mapbox to bring those worlds to life. Or we can even add our own custom data to real maps and manipulate the real world however we want. It's really easy to get started with Mapbox. If you just follow their installation guide, it just takes a couple of minutes to get set up and ready to go. And we'll be walking you through that in this section. Just know that getting started with them is super easy. Let's take a look at some of the things that we can do with Mapbox. The examples they list on the side in their navigation here are a city simulator, which is essentially just pulling an actual city onto a map, which we'll be doing in an AR way for our game, Trenches of War. You can then customize this city however you want to, using what are called layer visualizers, but we'll get into that later. Another thing we can do is create a location-based game like Pocket Droids Go. We can handle all kinds of data, like layers, buildings, roads, points of interest, and custom data. We can also style our map really easily to make it look absolutely great. There are also options for world scale augmented reality, zoomable maps, and an endless number of other possibilities for its use. These are just a few. The one we wanna focus on though, is this tabletop AR. Tabletop augmented reality is going to be the basis for the game that we're about to make called Drenches of War. Basically what this is, is it allows us to find a flat space, hook our game world up to it, and play anywhere we want, and make it look like whatever we're playing with is right there in the room with us. Mapbox makes it really easy to get started with AR. They even have a prefab that we can just drag onto our scene and get going with it. I don't think it could get any easier. And the coolest part of it is we pull in real map data, which means in a matter of seconds, we can update our entire world. And if we build it right, it'll be updated seamlessly and we can have brand new environments and all of the dynamically generated models will behave the same way no matter where we are in the world. Mapbox is the perfect tool for the game that we're about to make. And I'm excited to show you some of its super powerful features. So now that we've talked a bit about Mapbox, let's take a look at what we're about to do. This is Drenches of War. It doesn't look like much right here in the player, but it's really an awesome game 
and it's a great place to start in your journey for augmented reality, especially with Mapbox. If I click play here, we can go and investigate our scene. See these buildings in this map? They were generated dynamically by Mapbox for us at runtime. We just give Mapbox some information about what we want to do with different types of data, and it handles the rest for us. It's super simple, super easy to set up, and really, really powerful. The point of Drenches of War is we're going to have some tanks that drop down onto this screen. I'm just going to tell the game to run, and we'll see them. So we have tanks dropping down, and they are trying to paint our buildings. The only way that we can stop them is by dropping some water balloons right on their heads, causing them to short circuit. When they short circuit, they disappear from the screen. However, the scars of the damage that they do is left behind in all of these buildings. You'll see that when they shoot paintballs at a building, it'll color up and we'll be stuck with the color of whatever paintball hit them last. The amazing part about this is almost everything that you see here is generated by Mapbox. I'm super excited to build this game with you and show you how Mapbox works and how powerful of a tool it can be in our game development. Here are just a few of the things we're going to cover while we make Drenches of War. We're going to cover how to use Mapbox Studio, which is a tool that Mapbox has provided for us to build out custom map styles and apply them directly into our game from one centralized location. We'll cover how to use image factories and what those are. We'll cover terrain factories, which is how the world is formed. We're also going to cover vector tile factories, which give us dynamic data like buildings, points of interest, etc. And we're going to go in depth into using Mapbox's vector layer visualizers. That's how we generate all kinds of information and tools for our dynamically generated buildings. We'll cover game object modifiers, runtime script assignment with Mapbox, manipulating dynamically generated content, Mapbox filters, and so much more. This section is going to be action-packed and full of lots of awesome learning. By the time you're done with this section, you'll be a pro at manipulating worlds with Mapbox's tabletop AR kit. So what are we waiting for? Let's dive in. This is Ben with devslopes.com, and we'll see you next time.